Today I was able to accomplish this with ChatGPT and I will show you exactly how I was able to do this if you stay and watch this whole entire video. Now I'm a little late to this update but as we all know ChatGPT came out with a brand new function that literally game changed all of image creation and it literally broke the internet generating over 3 billion images in the first week of its release date. Now as video editors instead of thinking this is going to replace your job instead let's utilize it in our job and make Make us become better pro editors. Now guys, what I'm about to teach you in today's video is going to completely blow your mind. But before we get into the sauce, I want to let you guys know that my name is Ryan Herrick. I teach people how to edit in DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys want to grab the completely in-depth course, it is the first link in the description as well as all my editing packs. This course is super in-depth and it will teach you everything you need to know when it comes to content creation and just anything in general with DaVinci Resolve. Now the first step is you want to sketch out exactly what you want AI to create you. You need to give AI the base of what you want created. So for example, Canva, this is what I have sketched out, just a super basic two icon kind of thing. And so what I have here is just a circle with the DaVinci Resolve logo with DaVinci Resolve and then After Effects and then After Effects. Now listen, because this is the most important part of the video. Everything stems from the prompt you give to ChatGPT. This is super important because if you don't know how to use ChatGPT, then you're not going to get the best results. And it's almost like you have to manipulate ChatGPT into working its best. All we're gonna do here is literally tell ChatGPT to using my sketch slash reference, enhance my icon to where it looks like I paid someone $10,000 to design it for me. Now within literal minutes, you have something that is literally a million times better than what you guys can ever create. And let's just say you can create better. It was literally done in 30 seconds. Now that's pretty simple. Why don't we move up a step? So here we have something that a 10 year old could put together in Canva. And all I simply typed out was make all three separate icons all enhanced, glowing, and I need them to have a premium feel to it. Act like I hired Apple's billion dollar company to design the icons for me. All right, now this is insane. I created these three icons right here in just one minute. And the best part is, is it's completely authentic and these are my assets now and no one else can use them except for me. Now sure, someone can have something similar, but guess what, these are just for me and me only. Okay, now back into Canva for the very last time, we're gonna use the background remover effect and it's going to remove the background, giving us the three icons. Now you guys can go into your software of choice. I'm gonna be using DaVinci Resolve for the rest of this tutorial. And basically we have all of the three icons here. Now what are we gonna do to simply animate these icons is go to this cropping method. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold option and scroll up on all three. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deactivate the first two and I'm gonna go to the right one cropping tool. And I'm gonna just now make it to where we only have number one. Now we're going to reactivate this middle one and we're going to do the same thing, but make it to where we only have number two. Now we're gonna do the same thing to where we only have it for number three. Now, if you see, we have all have separate icons. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit compound clip and create a new compound clip for each and every single one of these clips. Now I'm gonna deactivate the first uh, two. We're gonna go to the fusion page with number one icon. Now in the fusion page, we're gonna shift space for a transform node and we're gonna go down to about 0.3 hitting a keyframe and going to about frame 30 and then putting this back up to 0.5 going to the settings applying motion blur hitting this zoom to fit button command a double click ease out cubic now stay with me guys now that we have that animation we're going to swipe up on our keyboard and make this fade in for about seven frames now going back into this, we're gonna Command C Transform 1, and we're gonna reactivate this for two, and all we're gonna do is just copy and paste this animation, that way we don't have to do that effect over and over and over again. Now we're gonna do the same thing, swipe up, and we're gonna make sure that we fade this in about seven frames on each and every single icon. Now all we're gonna simply do is go one, two, three, four, and then bring this back, one, two, three, four, and then bring this one back. And now guys, we have a fire animation that looks like this with the icons that I was able to do with using ChatGPT. Now guys, if you found this video super informational, which it is, it's jam packed full of information for you editors out there, please like and subscribe on this video. I'm literally almost at 10,000 subscribers, which I will be doing a giveaway at the 10,000th subscriber. And if you guys are already subscribed, then like and comment on this video as it boosts it to the page. That is all I have for you guys today. Remember, use AI and utilize it into your editing journey and don't be afraid of AI. Go out there guys and become great pro editors that you guys already are. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you guys in the next video.